Okay, this video is a response to John Fear. He had a head on there that he actually thought was my head. I have even thought it was my own head at first too. Until I looked at the video good, someone sent me the video and I look and said, wait a minute, that's not a head that I do, you know? First of all, I don't put MDB on any of the heads I do. I never put that on my head. So that's already a red flag. And then I don't replace the guides with a stock guide. You know, why would I replace a stock guide? These are stock. This is a bone stock brand new casting right here, right? I wouldn't replace a guide with another stock guide and have it all hanging down in the port. It doesn't make any sense, right? This is what I use, right? These are an aftermarket. This is uh, maybe six millimeter. There's a step on there. You see this? Let me, let me be able to tap this thing. You see the step there? That's the difference right there. This guy cannot fall. It's longer, it's stronger, it's thicker. It's way better than a stock guy can ever be, right? And this is what I use in my heads. You see that? In my heads right here, even in my cast heads, it's the same thing, right? And even though right now I'm in the garage, right now, this is Inglewood. I don't live in Inglewood, right? I live in Brea, California. Anybody ever ship something to me or got something for me, it says Brea, California in Orange County, right? This is precision work right here i can't grind this up in the garage this garage is just for storage of mini bikes there's no machines up in here there may be porting tools and uh you see that mini lathe right there a grinder over there that's it there's no precision tools in here you see bikes you see frames you see bikes all up at the top Heads back there, wheels and tires, engines. That's what you see here. You see? Three inch stroker, 305, challenge engine, beast engine, blue devil, pro mod, cruiser, willy bars. That's what you see in here, right? I don't all of a sudden do this work right here this is this is an end mill right here you set the head up you choose the angle you want to go with you cut it precisionly round this is perfectly round for a, a tube to go into now once that's done this here this plate at the bottom this is water jetted right it's all precisionally worked you can't just say, oh, you know what? Let me just grind something. This is, will be an intake flange, right? This is water jetted. I don't just sit here with a grinder and just make this stuff with a grinder. No, you know, this is a warhead right here. It hasn't been ported or anything. It's still stock, but you see that oil hole? It's been plugged, right? That's what I do. See the angle of that? It's stock. It has no seats or guides in it yet. Now, the head that he had, it had a stock exhaust port, which anybody know me, I open my ports up. They call me hog out motorsports. I do some porting, you know, angle B stock. And then I wouldn't weld it up around the flange. There would be no use of welding it up around the flange if I'm gonna just put a 27 millimeter port. It doesn't make any sense. Then even after I get it welded, I get it surfaced, I surface it on the end mill, you know? So it's right back precisionly surfaced. That way you can bolt on an intake manifold, just like that. See that custom intake? All that's precision made, all that. This is not like guesswork, this is precision work right and this is the customer's engine look at the exhaust port 
See how big it is? It's about an inch. It's about a one inch exhaust port. Round. This is all precision work. See? If the head, if this intake was off, you will see how this is surfaced perfectly on the end mill, just like I do anything else, right? This is made, see how that's all cut out? See this plate right here? It goes in there. The same thing with that one, the same thing with that, even that one has it. This one right here, same thing. Like I said, I don't put MDB on my heads. That's why I don't really want to bash you because I'm not bashing you. I don't even have none of your work to bash you with, you know. But you pretty much just got it mixed up. Somebody used my name maybe or whatever. I don't know what it is or whatever, right? But like I said, I don't put MDB on here. I don't use stock guides. I wouldn't weld up this port to put a 27 millimeter port on there. And then also, I plug these with an aluminum plug, right? So it's plugged from here all the way to the top. It wouldn't be no, oh, I'm pouring through the wall and bust through the wall, and I didn't know I was going to bust through. I've been doing 28, 30, 32, 28 heads, double amount, longer than anybody else in the USA, right? That's the whole USA, including yourself. You was not doing 32, 28 heads when I was doing them, you know? So why would I all of a sudden say, you know what? Let me put a small 27 millimeter port, start porting and bust through the wall and leave it bust through. Doesn't make any sense. I already know you're going to bust through, right? So I plug that area. I plug the area in here. I plug the area in here. I plug the area in here. But that customer, whoever it is, claims, I guess, I didn't plug it. So I was porting like unknowingly, knowing I'm going to bust through the wall. Really? Doesn't make any sense. You know, I weld mines here. I weld around here. I plug them and I weld in this little gap in between here. That's what I do. I don't weld up against here. I weld in this little gap. See the gap in between there? That's what I weld. You know, the... What's the the gauge is already come filled in right there, so you don't have to uh, worry about that. But you see, like these are even made; these are precision made. These are uh, bow spring shims right here, hundred thousands, custom made, hundred thousand shims. That's because I build the engines. Look at this. See the extra ring groove? Doesn't come like that. See the gas ports? Doesn't come like that. This is all precisionly done, right? I don't do this in the garage. I assemble a, the, the engine in the garage maybe, start it up, and uh, maybe do some clearance work inside of a block. That's pretty much about it, you know? Even half of the heads that I port, I don't even port all of my heads right here. You know, most of them have to use a longer shank. So I might go to the machine shop and use the die grinder, the air grinder or something, you know, the air tool. Other than that, that's pretty much it, you know. But uh, I think he just, whoever the customer is, he probably bought the head used from once from somebody and said, oh, yeah, this MDB did this head. And they just used my name. That happens. It happened to me a few times, you know. And then if you're going to compare... But when I do a hit, because I take a picture of everything I do, pictures of videos, when I do something brand new before I even send it to a customer, it's brand new, you know? Now, they may get it, say they run it one time, and all of a sudden it's, it's raggedy, right? It's trash, right? Yeah, like you really only ran it one time, you know what I'm saying? You know, okay, well, what does it look like now? All the threads are stripped out on the valve cover. All the threads are stripped out for the roller rockers. The the uh, spark plug threads are stripped. It's got this here leaking, that's leaking or whatever. You overheated it running on gasoline, you know, with like 12 to 1 compression. We don't know what happened, you know. 
You didn't blew the head gasket 10 times. We don't know nothing. All I know is when I sent it to you, I have a picture of it brand new from when I sent it to you, you know? So that's pretty much how it goes. I have pictures and videos of everything. So I, you can be like, oh, this is what it looked like. No, no, no. Ask me for what it looked like. Ask me. I got a picture. I can just show it to you. This is what it looked like when I sent it to you. And then when I get a valve job, the same thing goes, right? I use a SERTI machine, right? I don't know if you know what a SERTI machine is, but I put normally I only put two angles on the valve job, right? I don't put three. But I use a SERTI machine and connect it to the SERTI machine. If you know about machines, is a... Uh, 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 air tester, you know, I can check the the, uh, the seal on the valves right there. Just hook it up, stick it over the port, and it'll tell you a percentage. Oh, it says uh, anything below 5% is good, you know. So you just pressure test it. Okay, yeah, it's good or whatever. I don't know if you know about this. I know about it, and anybody else use a certain machine knows about it, you know. But that's what I do with all my heads. Even this head right here, this is mine. It's 100% sealed. It's ready to bolt on. I'm not going to bolt it on yet because I got to make a couple of changes I want to do on this one. But other than that, it's ready to go. So I think it is just a mistaken identity on the head. Somebody bought maybe a used head from California from a guy who claimed MDB did it and put MDB on the head. But it wasn't me. No. You know, it wasn't me. If you want something from me, it's going to be brand new. All the best parts, unless you can't afford it, right? And I have different stages. I got from stage one all the way to stage 11. So it's up to you, you know. But somebody will tag you in the video. You know, you ain't got to get mad or, you know, whatever. It's just a mistake. And I, I was a little upset when I seen the video because you clearly thinking I did that here and I didn't do that here. You know, even when I cut the chambers for uh, the heart shape, all that's done, precisionly done on the end mill. You know, I don't know if you know what the end mill is. I don't know, you know, but that's what I use. You know, I set all this stuff up, put it on the end mill and get it done, you know. And look at this again before I cut this video off. Right. You see, there's only two angles on these seats. See the guys off in there? See the ports? That's pretty much all I do. I ream my seats more than I put more angles on them. You know, that's how I get more flow. I told y'all about it. But if y'all don't know what it is, too bad. 